Alright, 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 all right, all right. yeah, yeah, hey, listen, listen. Absolutely amazing morning, everybody. You know what it is. Listen, it's been a while since I've been on here, so I wanted to come in and yell at you for a minute. Disrupt your, your daily routine just a little bit. Hey, do me a huge favor. If you can see me right now, please give me a like, give me a love. Please comment down below a number one for the fact that you are viewing this live. A number two if you are watching the replay. All right, and do me a favor, share this out because somebody is going to need this message this morning. I'm telling you right now. So I was thinking to myself last night as I do a lot and I encourage you guys to do the same exact thing. Think a lot to yourself. As my good friend says, only positive thoughts. And, and, and my lady asked me a question last night. She said, babe, you know, I was listening to Les Brown the other day. Listen, the, the complexity of that moment and her just saying that is such a blessing in itself. But, but Tierra said, she said, babe, I was listening to Les Brown the other day and he, and he made a great point. He asked a question in his interview and he asked the interviewer, he said, do you know, sorry about that. He said, do you know what your great, great, great grandfather's name is? I'm gonna ask you that again. Do you know what your great, great, great grandfather's name is? I said, no, honestly, baby, I don't. And then she said, do you know what your great, great grandfather's name is? And I said, you know what, honestly, I don't. I don't, I, I don't know that either on my mom's side or my father's side. And she said, baby, do you know what your great grandfather's name is? And honestly, I don't know him by name. I know what my grandfather's name is, right? I, I know his name was Raymond Philip Dillard, right? That's where I get my middle name. And uh, I knew that he worked in the hospital. I'm not sure exactly what he did or what his occupation was or, or the specifics of the industry or, or anything. I, I, I didn't get... Now, I, I don't want you to confuse this with leaving material possessions for your family. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I don't know these gentlemen or even these ladies. I don't know who my great-great-grandmother is on either side, my mother or my father. And, and, and I'm not, again, saying this because I want to emphasize the point of financial literacy or leaving finances for your family. That is not the point. Do not get me wrong in that. I don't feel that legacy is about what you leave for somebody. It's more about what you leave in them, right? So the reason I'm bringing up this point is what are you doing right now to make sure that your name lives on? You know, in my introduction, Listen, hey, listen, I think, I, I think this was just one album. This was just one album and hit after hit after hit after hit and he's been doing it for years and he's been doing it for years. Do you think, do you think that his grandchildren, do you think his great grandchildren will remember his name? Ladies and gentlemen. I think there's a misconception right now in our society when you see it on social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or any social network that you're a part of where being an entrepreneur is glorified. I believe that there is a misnomer right now in the industry to make people think that this is a luxurious lifestyle that you have a chance to enjoy the minute that you get involved, that there is some type of microwavable success, that you can put up a few posts and guess what, you're gonna have millions of followers and millions of views and Google will be contacting you for ad campaigns. Ladies and gentlemen, it does not work that way. You have to go through the process. But the reason why I bring up the fact that legacy is so important is because if money is the only thing that you're after, unfortunately, what you do is going to be very, very short-lived. The beginning of your process, I understand that, hey, what I'm going for right now is to take care of my rent. <laughs> I'm looking to make sure that, hey, I wanna make sure that my water is taken care of, that my gas is taken care of. You know, can I make it to the weekend when you start as an entrepreneur? When you immediately start your process as an entrepreneur, I'm not saying that you are going to see the end goal. I'm not saying that you are going to see the end game because it doesn't work that way. It just simply doesn't work that way. When I started my process about two and a half years ago, ladies and gentlemen, I was three months past doing my rent. I was three months past doing my utilities. I was <laughs> past doing my promises, my goals, and I didn't have a vision. So at that point, the only thing in my mind was, okay, I need to establish some type of habit right now to make sure I get above the water because I'm drowning. That was my only goal. 
No, I did not have an elaborate scheme. The dream team wasn't available. Dillard and Associates wasn't a dream. Nothing. It was, okay, I need to survive. And I understand that some of you are at that point right now, so I'm not expecting you to be able to see farther than your bills. <laughs> what I'm expecting is that you still have short-term goals with the long-term vision. But you also have to understand that any habit that you're establishing right now is going to serve you in your future. Any opportunity that you are in right now is going to serve you in your future. I can remember years and years ago, uh, I tell people the story all the time, one of the first businesses that I was a part of was business to business marketing. I was selling impulse items, items that you would never look twice at, items that, you know, the little cutting boards that your grandmother may have in her in her kitchen. I would sell those, you know, two for 10. Uh, the little Spider-Man, uh, stuffed Spider-Man toys that I would walk into businesses with my suit that was drenched because it was hot outside, right? And I would throw it to the business owner and I would hit him with a quick spill. And through that process, I learned how to be quick on my feet. I learned how to sell. I learned how to communicate. I learned how to use my body language. I, I learned how to use my charisma, my enthusiasm to sell myself. And years later, that opportunity has served me well. So understand that anything that you're going through, it's not, it's not you're struggling through it. It's not, hey, oh my God, it's such a challenge right now. You have to fall in love with your process and then the only thing that's going to keep you going, that's gonna keep you striving, that's gonna keep you in an upward pace is that legacy. Hey, what I'm doing today, I understand, is going to control what my children are going to be able to do months from now. Understand that what I do this month is going to be able to provide a lifestyle for my family years to come. You know, I saw a post one time that said, poor people plan for the weekend, but wealthy people plan for generations. I'm going to say that again. Poor people plan for the weekend, but wealthy people plan for generations. Listen, if I left this earth today, no, I cannot create my legacy just in what I do today, but I can create it in what I do daily. If there's gaps in your life, if your finances aren't together, if your relationships aren't together, if, you're, if your business is not together, you will find where you are going wrong in your habits. One thing I encourage my, my friends to do and a lot of my business associates is to keep very, very close track of what you do on an hourly basis. I promise if you did that, matter of fact, I'll pose a question real quick. For anybody that's watching this, do me a huge favor. Please tell me how many hours there are in a week. I know there's a little delay, so I'll give you 10 seconds. How many hours in a week, baby? Take a little bit of light from you. Am I frightening you? Shall I continue? I How many hours in a week, baby? And sing you a song. I let it hum to you. The other one sing along. Now it's a duet. A duet. Can yeah, you you? exactly. Not, nobody knows. All right? So how in the world are you supposed to manage something that you're not even aware of? You don't manage time. But better yet, how do you take advantage of the time that you have if you don't even know how much you have? Listen, there's 168 hours in a week. Anybody that gives me the excuse of they don't have time to go after their dream or their goal, you're lazy. And I'll tell you why. There's 40 hours that you're gonna work in a week. Listen, if you're a part of our business, I know for a fact you're not working 40 hours a week, all right, so stop playing. 40 hours in a week that you're gonna actually be working. So with 168, that's gonna leave you with 128. Let's say you're, let's say, hey, listen, if you have children, I know you're not getting eight hours of rest a night, but let's say you are. Let's say you're one of the blessed few that gets eight, hour, eight hours of rest every single night. So we got 128 hours, I'm taking 64 of those away from you. You still have 64 hours to do whatever the heck you wanna do. Wow, Damon, 64 hours. Okay, so let's just say you go to the gym every day as well. You spend an hour at the gym, I bet you only go five days a week. That's 59 hours left that you have to create your dream, your goal, or your magnificent life. Oh, still not enough time. You tell me 59 hours is not enough for you. Why? Oh, because Damon, I have travel time to and from work. You know what? You're right. I'll give you that. I will give you that. Two hours a day traveling to and from work. Would that not be fair? Okay, so we have 59 hours left. We're traveling now 14 hours a week which leaves me with 45 hours? Hello? You have 45 hours after you work 40 hours a week, after you get eight hours of sleep every single night, after you travel two hours a day, 
and if you're going to the gym and working on your body, but you don't have time to read a book, but you don't have time to create a game plan, but you don't have time to sit your ass down, meditate on your goals. Come on, man. Hey, come on. Come on, y'all. And we wonder why we don't know our great, great grandfather's name. Because he was not purposeful with his time. <laughs> I don't. Listen, today is all you have. With what I do, I do final expense life insurance, ladies and gentlemen. And with this industry, I'm able to see mortality up close and personal. I'm able to sit down with the 70 year olds, the 80 year olds, the 50 year olds, the 60 year olds, and I ask every single one of them a very simple question Would you want to be when you grew up? Would you want to be when you grew up? And, and the look on their faces, the regret that I see in their faces just, just completely disturbs me. And it hurts my soul to see so many of us partaking in the activities that I know for a fact these people did as well in their youth. Hey, YOLO, right? You only live once. What a selfish, selfish way to live. We're not on this earth forever, right? I, 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 do, I do believe that nobody even watching this video right now is gonna see the year 2100. I do believe that. I don't care if you're a newborn today, you probably will not see the year 2100. So Damon, why do you do these videos? Damon, why do you drive to all these different cities? Damon, why are you reading all these books? Why are you working with so much purpose? Why are you looking to build yourself every single day? Why do you wanna go through the struggle, the pain, the strife, the crying? Because it's not about me. <laughs> because it's not about me. I'm hoping that this shifts your soul. I'm hoping that this disturbs you to understand that quit wasting time. If you left this earth today, how long would you be remembered? Listen, create your magnificent life. I want you to start with a pen and a piece of paper. And I don't want you to start with what you want as far as material possessions. I don't want you to write down, hey, I want the magnificent car and the beautiful home and I want to have the beautiful relationships. And no, 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 no. I want you to start with what makes you happy. Well, Damon, I want financial freedom. Why? Why do you have financial freedom right now? You have freedom right now. You're not in jail. You can drive anywhere you want to. You can do whatever you would like to do every single day. So what does freedom mean to you? Well, I want to make 100 grand a year. Why? What is that going to do for you? What is that going to do for your family? Oh, well, I want to make a million a month. Okay, awesome. What are you going to do with it? Your first month, once you made a million, you're going to be bored because you don't even know what to do with a million. If you did, you'd have it right now. What makes you truly, truly happy? That's where you need to start. And as you build out on that idea, as you build out on that goal, it's so funny how when you think about something, the universe conforms to your idea. It begins to put people in your way. It begins to put situations in your path. It begins to put opportunities in your path. But this is what I encourage you to do. When a new opportunity hits you, you're going to, you're gonna to need to approach that opportunity, not as the person you are right now, but that's the person that you envision yourself to be 10 years from now. Because the you of now has no idea what to do with that type of opportunity. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got for you today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Continue to create the life that you lead. I am on my way right now down to Cincinnati, Ohio to help so many families. Listen, we are on a mission right now. The mission of the Dream Team in this moment, we are going to help serve 150 families this month to make sure that they don't have to have a GoFundMe account, that they don't have to have a little jar in a, in a corner store to take care of their loved one, that they don't have to do the fish fries and the cookouts, but they can in fact leave the legacy of more, that they cannot leave their family with lack and limitation. Do you have a dream? Do you have a plan? Would you like to see one? Give me a call, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie, what's going on, Ryan? What's going on, Josh Williams? What's going on? I'm gonna leave you guys with a little Jay Z. I should fear no man. You don't hear me though. Let's see what we got. If you're having girl problems, I'm bad for you, son. Hold on.
Let's see what we got. I'm just trying to stay up on water, you know? Stay busy. Stay Legends. Working. Legends. I'm talking about Legends, you ain't working hard enough. You're not working hard enough. You ain't ready. Have a great weekend, guys.